I'm Bobby Welber, and here are this week's top five stories from Hudson Valley Post. A Hudson Valley woman was arrested after an alleged pot farm went up in smoke. Back on June 6, the fire broke out at a suspected marijuana grow operation in Marlboro. Police say their investigation led them to three pot farms at homes in Marlboro and Newburgh and the seizure of nearly $1 million worth of weed. Police announced another arrest in the case, charging Leslie Ramona Marlboro with felony weed possession. A Hudson Valley contractor is heading to prison for defrauding a number of local homeowners. Daniel McGearney confessed he illegally possessed two handguns, didn't report income taxes, and defrauded customers on home improvement contracts. On Monday, the 48-year-old from Blooming Grove was sentenced to seven years in prison. A man who sexually abused three young girls is now living within walking distance of a Hudson Valley Elementary School. Level 3 sex offender Wayne Oles moved from an apartment in Poughkeepsie to the Pleasant Valley Motel. The 55-year-old, who is considered a sexually violent offender, lives just two-tenths of a mile from Traver Road Primary School. In a span of just a few days, over 460, 100,000 gallons of raw sewage spilled into the Hudson River, according to the Poughkeepsie Water Pollution Control Plant. Tuesday's violent storm caused nearly 120,000 gallons of untreated waste to drip into the Hudson River in Poughkeepsie. Saturday's storm caused nearly 350,000 gallons to spill into the same location. Across the river, an unknown amount of waste spilled into the Hudson River in Newburgh. And finally, cameras began rolling last week for season two of the American Choppers reboot. While the show is big here in America, the Orange County Choppers family is a huge hit over in Germany. And this past Saturday, one of Germany's biggest bands traveled all the way to Newburgh to put on a free concert at the OCC Cafe. For more on these stories, follow the conversation at HudsonValleyPost.com.